Hey there and welcome to webtalks.co.uk. We're taking a look today at the Low Alpine Yachton 35. Now this is part of their Hyperlite backpack range and the ethos behind it is to reduce weight on the packs, giving you a better day out on the hill. The less weight you're carrying, the further you can go, the fresher you feel at the end of the day. Now, the Yorkton 35, as its name suggests, has got 35 litres of, of carrying capacity and the Hyperlite range has reduced weight in two key ways. Firstly, with the fabric that they've used and they've gone for Dyneema fabric. Not only is it lightweight, it's also incredibly strong and as you can see here with this crosshatch pattern, it's got a ripstop uh, aspect built into the fabric itself. They've also reduced weight as well by using this, this webbing that you see here and they've reduced the width down to one centimetre but that's still more than strong enough for the sorts of weights that you'll be carrying with this rucksack of anywhere between 7 and 10 kilograms. Okay, enough about the, the fabric and uh, the sort of the general ways they reduce weight. Let's have a look at some of the specific features this sack has got. And starting off at the bottom here, you'll see here you've got Low Alpine's new um, trail pole um, holder. Basically, you actually stuff the bottom through the cross hatch pattern that you see here, and right up at the top here, you put the top through the elasticated loops that you have. Um, in terms of storage on the front, I could just open up here a little bit you'll see that you've got a very large stretchy pocket in the front here and if we come and have a look around on the side now again you've got this stretchy material with a stretchy one pocket on the side so plenty of space there probably for a one litre water bottle or whatever bits and bobs you want to put in and compression wise you've got a compression strap here and one further towards the top as well okay swinging back round to the front and if we open up the lid and have a look inside Firstly, you'll see that um, you've got a compression strap that comes over the top here. Okay, that clips in like that. And the collar, well, that's got a cord that comes around the top with an adjuster as well to keep everything snug inside. Now, inside the main body of the, the rucksack, there's no, not much point in showing you a great white space, but um, basically the 35 litres um, worth of space is, is pu purely within this pocket or within the main compartment that you see here. There is also a hydration bladder pouch as well, and I think that's suitable for a, a bladder up to about three litres as well. It's, it's quite large. Moving on to the lid and the top, well, you can see here that you've got a uh, internal pocket, uh, an inside lid pocket here, which is this orange zip, and just in case you need it, hopefully you won't, you've got the Alpine Distress Signal um, kind of guidelines as well for whistles or for waving at helicopters. Now if we close this over and swing round to the back now, now the actual top lid of the rucksack, it, this can actually extend as you can see here, and it's, it's completely removable if you wanted to save a little bit of weight and get a shot of it. And you've also got adjusters here that pull the loading closer to your back or further away, depending on what's more comfortable for yourself. You've also got a whole loop here in the centre and I really like the harness that Low Alpine have got with the Zepton rucksacks. If we come in close here you'll see that they've actually got these foam cutouts. Not only does that reduce weight but it also increases breathability making it a very very comfortable harness indeed. And if we swing across to the back system here you'll see that you've got a, a honeycomb mesh back system um, again so letting lots of air circulate and making sure you don't get hot and sweaty back syndrome. Down to the bottom of the rucksack now and you've got a lightweight version of Low Alpine's adaptive hip belt system. Now obviously it moves up and down so much more comfortable when you're actually walking. The rucksack moves with, your, with the natural rhythms of your body but also as well what's great about this particular hip belt is that whatever shape and size you are, be it thin or maybe slightly larger, this rucksack is going to be a really really comfortable carry for you. And I think that's the key point I want to get across with this rucksack is that although it's lightweight it's still exceptionally comfortable on the back. Switching around to the front, uh, you can see here that we've got on both sides, we've got again got this lovely stretchy material and you've got two, uh, you've got two hip belt pockets as well. Now we've got the ochre colour that you see here, uh, weight comes in at around about 930 grams or just over and there may be other colours at webtops.co.uk.